for tuning in to another episode of notanalog.com. Today I'm going to be looking at the HTC Mozart from Telstra. They've given it to me for a few days to trial and I've been fortunate enough to get everything set up on there as I would as a normal working phone and uh, I'm going to run through some things and show you some things that I like and some things that I don't like. Okay, this is the HTC Mozart. Uh, you'll notice Windows Phone 7. So one of the biggest things with Windows Phone 7 is all of the tiled applications that they have on the home screen. Uh, you can add and remove these tiles as you please and you can reorganize them as you please as well. Um, so just to have a quick look at these, you'll see it's connected with Telstra and you have the phone app in the top left, how I've organized it. You have, I have my Outlook mail, my messaging, my Twitter. There's a special Telstra One application, uh, Internet Explorer, uh, the HTC Hub, my Gmail, uh, Xbox Live, my calendar, my Facebook pictures, music and videos, the marketplace, sound enhancer, stocks, photo enhancer, and just a me tile which has your uh, Facebook news feed. So just going to run through some of the features here. One of them is, I guess, the mail, which is probably one of the most used things for people. You'll see how clear and smooth the application operates. Um, the text on this screen looks so, so vivid, so clear. You can slide through your unread messages, urgent messages, which are things which are flagged or as a high priority. Um, go back to your all. It's very, very easy and very simple to use. Um, it's I actually found the mail application to be just quite amazing. Uh, and that's coming from someone who uses a Blackberry. So, you know, for someone who uses mail on a daily basis, the Windows Phone 7 operating system is very, very good. Uh, the messaging app is just a simple SMS. Uh, we've all seen how to SMS before. There's not a whole lot of amazing change there. The uh, Twitter app is one which I downloaded from the marketplace. Uh, it doesn't come with a native Twitter app. However, this was developed by Microsoft. Um, and straight away, it just loads into your timeline. You can see all of your tweets. Um, it's very quick to update and also very, very smooth. Um, Internet Explorer works very well. Um, I'm just going to open this up. You can see I've actually already, already went to YouTube earlier today. Um, if I hit this other tab, it takes you to... I have multiple windows open, obviously. Um, this is just the Sydney Morning Herald website. It's reloading. Turn it sideways. Okay, there it goes. Um, it loads very quick. The web browsing on this is very, very fast. Um, for most mobile devices, people would be impressed by the speed which you get out of this device. Um, I can't say that it's a terrible browser at all. It's actually quite good. And Telstra 1. Telstra has added this application to it natively. Um, it's actually brings a lot of life to this phone. It is very data dependent, so without a data connection it doesn't work very well, or it won't work. Uh, so it sort of brings you to these news feeds. News feeds are separated by category, and I tend to use news feeds a lot um, just to keep up to date with what's going on on your mobile device. So this was actually very handy to see, and it's very good. It brings all of the information from Big Pond News. Sorry, my camera's falling a little bit. Okay, there we go. And uh, you can slide across to a sports section. They've certainly got a lot of sport news in here. And you can flick across again to a section from My Place. In here there's a Big Pond link, a place where you can view your data usage in My Account. Uh, I use the City Search app, uh, Yellow Pages, White Pages. There is so, so much which Telstra has added into this uh, phone just to make give you a little bit more usability. And I think for a lot of other de devices, such as the iPhone, um, you would find yourself downloading these apps from the App Store just to get by. Things like the yellow pages and stuff like that, it comes standard on the phone, which is fantastic. So you can slide across. They have this weather app here, which is very, very good. When you click on, slide over across a bit to Sydney, because I'm interested in the Sydney weather, uh, same thing. I can see a bit more detailed information and it's quite good. Slide that across again, just to exit, and I'm back to my newsfeed. So you'll notice that the menu system on the Windows Phone devices really is just about sliding windows. You're sliding windows sideways and then you scroll up and down. 
the HTC Hub is a skin which um, would be on all HTC devices. It's it's very very good. It brings sort of another element to the phone. Uh, you'll see that the weather is location based. I'm actually in North Ride, so it brings up my location and the weather there. Uh, if I click on that, it takes it into a bit more detail. And you'll see that this, this phone is doing a whole lot of animation and it performs very, very well. Um, sorry about that, the camera's falling around. Um, and you can see a extended weather forecast there as well. Very good. Uh, a bit further down, my Gmail account, uh, which is just set up, st same as the Exchange email I showed you before, it just works exactly the same. Uh, Xbox Live, this is a obviously a big feature for Windows devices, obviously won't be working on any other phones. Uh, you can download so many games and there's so many apps which tie into people who use an Xbox at home. Um, I have downloaded some games and used them and it operates extremely fast and it performs amazingly. Um, I was actually very impressed by the speed of this device, especially when it comes to gaming and animations and things like that. Um, switching into the calendar real quickly, not a whole lot to be surprised about. Um, it is pretty pretty standard. You can see your appointments, make appointments, uh, and so on. You can see your agendas and stuff like that. It's really quite good. And again, that all syncs with your Gmail, or it syncs with your Windows Live, or it syncs with uh, how I have mine set up with my Exchange email. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit again. The Facebook app which I have on here is not the one which came with the phone. Um, I believe that the standard application for um, Facebook, which is actually on the device, is not good enough. Um, I downloaded the official Facebook app and was very impressed. Uh, straight away, it almost feels like a fully featured uh, Facebook, There, except for the chat. There is pretty much everything else which you would normally see on a normal Facebook page while you're doing your browsing. Again, it is set up. I'm just going to adjust this camera again. Um, it is set up so that you can slide through your tabs for top news, uh, slide across for photos, slide across for links, and videos, and so on. Um, that's just the way that the phone system architecture is. It's built on sliding windows and, and scrolling. Otherwise, the Facebook app is very good. A bit further down, uh, just go into the pictures section real quick. Uh, the pictures is very, very normal. Probably not a whole lot of surprises here. You can go into your camera roll, saved pictures. I just have a couple of pictures here. Again, not a whole lot will surprise you in the way it works. You know, pinch to zoom. It's very responsive. The touch screen um, can't really complain at all. It's very, very smooth and easy to use, which is good. Considering it's a first-run version of uh, Windows Phone 7, it still runs very impressively. So switch into music and video. One of the things with this is that it does need to have, your PC does need to have Windows, uh, Microsoft Zune installed for it to operate. Um, I'm just going to flick through this real quick. You can see I have some music and I have some video. I'm just going to hit one of the videos that I have. Oh, Episode of Modern Family. Extremely clear, extremely fast. <laughs> so pause that, and go back. What I didn't like was this. Right now, I just exited the video and I'm not horizontal anymore. I think that what they need to do is start to incorporate some of the things which you do see on the iPhone, which, you know, allow you to have some horizontal menus. Okay, I'm just going to adjust one more time. Sorry about that. And just go into some music. So quick, so easy. Skipping songs. It's very, very fast. I'll exit out of that real quick. That's the music. The marketplace is very similar to the App Store. If I just hit into the App Store, allow it to load, uh, you'll kind of see I can filter through categories. The App Store is getting better. Obviously, more and more apps are being developed for this phone as time goes on. Uh, it's getting better. All the way to the bottom, stocks, sound enhancer. Sound enhancer is, I guess, what the Mozart is all about. The Mozart's really about media, and it does media and sound very well. One of the things you can see is Dolby Mobile and SRS enhancement. 
Uh, I was playing with this last night with just a standard set of headphones and um, it made a $10 pair of headphones sound, you know, incredible. So this device really has come through in terms of audio and performance. It's, it's very, very well done on that side of things. Uh, the Photo Enhancer is a small app which comes with the phone for making photos prettier. Uh, some other things I downloaded, Adobe Reader for uh, PDF attachments, which I receive a lot of. It's good to see Adobe working with Microsoft uh, and developing some apps for them as well. Uh, alarms, calculator, calendar, camera, Facebook, Foxtel. If you have Foxtel at home, this device might be handy because you can actually program channels, recordings, uh, from this device, which I don't have Foxtel, so I can't do that. However, it's it's always there if people do. Uh, again, you can go into your games. You can see that some of these items which I'm seeing are already on my home screen, so this kind of just emphasizes that point. The maps, maps works fairly well also. Uh, it uses Bing maps. And uh, what else? Office. I just have to run through this very, very quickly. Uh, Microsoft Office has Excel, Word, PowerPoint, they're almost fully featured. There is not a whole lot of components in that which is missing. Uh, it's very, very impressive considering the way it works. The people, which is also known as your contacts, I showed you that before. It's extremely, extremely long, extremely disappointing. Uh, I'm hoping that they fix that very, very soon. The phone section, photo enhancer, uh, pretty much everything else which I've already shown you, you can always go to this screen for every app. This is, I guess, the home screen where you would just get your favorite apps, ones which you want to see most often. Um, in my day-to-day -day using of this device, I haven't found myself using this section a whole lot, so which I've enjoyed. So I get, guess that gives you a bit of a run-through. I'm going to switch back to my normal camera. I apologize for the, whole, the way this has operated, but so I'm going to switch back and I'll give you a quick rundown of my thoughts, what I liked, what I don't like, and we'll wrap it up. Okay, 